Hey everyone, Mel from adventuresofmel.com and this week's, it's time for this week's quick tip. So this week's quick tip is all about mice. So we're going to be talking a simple and natural mice repellent. We used to live in an old farmhouse where we had a ton of mice. Um, I don't know why we had them. I mean, we kept our house clean. I guess we, we had lots of little places where they could get in all over the place. It was a really old house. There were lots of little crevices. And they can get in the tiniest of holes, it seems like. So, and they would get in our cabinets, they would get in and just wreak havoc, and they would get into things they shouldn't have even been into where there was no food, closets, anything. So we finally got fed up, and I started looking up remedies, and that's when I discovered peppermint oil for mice repellent. And so what you do is you can, there's a few different ways you can use it. And actually, if you do have holes or crevices in different places in your house, like maybe tiny places they could get in between your garage and your kitchen or anything like that, then you want to stuff those places with steel wool, and that will help. They have a hard time chewing through that. But then also, peppermint oil is a great deterrent. And I have read that what it does is it actually masks their pheromone trails so that other mice aren't attracted to that area. And then I've also read that it irritates their nasal passages. They don't like it. And it, it actually, it worked. It worked for us in a couple of different old, really old houses that we lived in. So, you could always get a cat too, but peppermint oil will do the trick, especially if your cat's like ours and he's really lazy. <laughs> so what you want to do is you can use, you can use any grade, as long as it's a pure grade peppermint oil, you can use any brand. Um, the first time we used it, we just went to our health food store and got a bottle of pure grade peppermint oil. You just want to make sure it's not extract, make sure it's pure oil. I just, I use Young Living now. And what you want to do is you can use cotton balls and you can put probably at least five to six drops on a cotton ball and then put those cotton balls in different areas where you think the mice might be coming in or where you're finding evidence of mice. So maybe uh, around your cabinets, around baseboards, um, maybe even around like uh, outside entrances like your garage door, um, things like, places like that. And then also, another thing I did, I took it one step further and I used a spray bottle and I mixed up water with lots of peppermint oil. And you want to make sure that it's potent enough so that it will smell. Um, so it'll smell strong enough to deter them, to repel them. A lot of people recommend uh, a one-to-one -one mixture. I didn't go that strong. That was way too strong because it will fill your house with minty fresh smell. Um, you can use, you could use like uh, 25 drops for 8 ounces or you could use um, 2 teaspoons of peppermint oil for 8 ounce for uh, maybe a cup of water. Just make sure that when you spray it, you can smell it really well. It's really strong. And you'll have to keep replenishing your cotton balls and your spray wherever you spray, um, probably every couple of weeks, just to keep it strong. Um, I sprayed it around door jams going outside. I would spray it around our garage doors, our inside garage doors. Um, anywhere I thought that they might be coming in or be attracted to, especially the kitchen area, um, baseboards, put fireplace, fireplaces are really bad. Um, but you want to make sure that you test a small area first just to make sure it's not going to stain, especially if you're using it on your wall or on trim. So, but that is this week's quick tip. Next week I'll be coming back to you with two quick tips for meal planning and grocery shopping, or grocery grocery list making. They go kind of together, hand in hand. So be sure and join me this same time next Monday, and I will see you then.